Well, let's kick off the month with a pick of the litter segment. This is our favorite segment of the week where we tried to get a beautiful rescue dog a forever home. And this week, guys, we're going big, okay? No little prissy lap dogs for us today. Today, we've got a low jack. Over at the NSPCA, <laughs> Amy Lee is there. She's their communications manager. What is up with this giant dog? So, I mean, I hope you can kind of see the scale and perspective of how giant and big and beautiful Lojack is. This guy, you know, you talk about not being small. This guy does sometimes think he's a lap dog. But if you can squeeze 143 pounds into your lap, then this is the dog for you. Uh, Lojack is... <laughs> Lojack is a beautiful, wonderful dog that has been waiting here since September to find a home. And I will oh, tell no. you, um, he's a special dog. Yes, he's been with us for a while. He's a large dog. So, you know, it's, it's, this is not a dog for an apartment, right? So this is a dog where we're hoping to find um, an adult home uh, where he could be the only pet. He is um, going to require some time for you to visit with him and patience to get to warm up to you because he does act a little aloof with strangers. Um, but that's, you know, part of his breed as well. He's uh, a Pyrenees mix. So he is, he's a very, uh, he's very much a guard dog. He's protective, but you know, once he opens up and once he warms up, this guy is a dream. This guy loves to go for walks. He's great on leash. Um, very loving, very sweet, very playful, loves to play in the kiddie pool. I love it. And my mom has a Pyrenees up on the farm in Washington state. Um, and she kind of, you know, inherited the dog uh, from a neighbor who couldn't handle it uh, because they do, they need some exercise and everything. You know, these are big dogs, beautiful dogs. So listen, Amy, you and I, we drive around Las Vegas. We see these big dudes in their trucks. Maybe these guys, you know, going over to the uh, UFC gym to work out or something. Maybe they, <laughs> they go out to Boulder City, you know, and, and, and ride a vehicle in the desert on the weekends. One of these guys is watching right now and is like, you know what? This is the dog for me. Or maybe it's a chick. Maybe it's a girl after my own heart. And you know you could handle a dog like Lojack. You know, he loves women. I will say this. He's very much a, a ladies man. Um, he does prefer the ladies. But, you know, like I said, with time, this is a dog where you really just kind of want to earn his trust. It's going to take time um, and a few visits with our shelter. But I think, you know, if you're willing to put in a little bit of time and effort to get to know him um, and just see how beautiful his personality is, it really is. I mean, this dog is so great. And, and you know, I can understand how intimidating his size is. But, you know, once you get past that and you just see he's got so much love to give and he's so soft and he's just just a great dog what a great dog just to have uh to go hiking with and, and just to just to hang out on the on a very large couch with <laughs> that's right i was giggling because his head is literally as big as yours if not bigger uh this is classic <laughs> listen we know the great work you do uh at the nspca nevada spca it is just west of allegiant stadium folks they moved into a new facility here in las vegas and you have a lot of great supporters and you know, a lot of folks across the valley understand what great work you do and how important it is that we have a great no-kill shelter here in the valley. You have a lot of partners as well, don't you, Amy? We do, we do. You know, this city has been so incredibly generous and giving and kind. And, uh, you know, I don't know if, if I or we say it enough, but we really want to thank the community and thank you for coming out when we need you. We need donations of towels and blankets and you guys show up we need uh donations of cat and dog food you guys show up we you know because of you you're able to support mm. our life-saving work and you know again we can't thank you enough you know you do so much more than just adopt and and we always need the support and so thank you so much okay well I, I, as we go here i was wondering if you could just get that guy's face forward uh, maybe give him a hug or something you know what we need we need like a giant Low treat down. Come for him today yeah. uh, we do tempted, i <laughs> Look at this pup. He's, he thinks he's a lap dog. Like I said, he's just, you know, a measly 143 pounds that wants to sit on my lap, but that's okay. I tell you, I think I'm going to have to come down and meet this dog. This is a classic pup. Uh, Best Mattress, they love dogs. They love big dogs, actually. A lot of the folks at Best Mattress own big dogs. I know that for a fact. And they want to offer anyone who takes Low Jack home, they will give you a complimentary pet bed from Best Mattress. That's a whole event. Can you imagine taking Low Jack down to Best Mattress and doing a photo shoot and getting him a bed and getting him a new home? That's what we want to see that happen, don't we, Amy? Absolutely. I mean, this guy, I'm sure they have a large mattress, a very, uh, you know, mattress that's accommodating of his size. I mean, if they don't, he'll sleep in bed with you. <laughs> a king size bed is perfect for him, too. 
Oh my gosh, yeah, he'd take up the whole side of the bed. Well, thank you so much for joining <laughs> us, Amy. We'll see you again soon. Thank you. Reach out to the Nevada SPCA. If you would like to meet LoJack, you can go down, bring your family down, bring your other dogs down, set up a meet and greet, find out if he is going to be your next family member. Let's get LoJack adopted.